Welcome to readyticket.com. Today we're going to show off a tool that's not widely used within the site. I think it's probably because uh, I haven't made it clear enough. But uh, we have all users get access to workgroups. And when you create a workgroup, you give it a name. And then you, within that workgroup, you put a list of symbols here. I've got 25 symbols in here. Or what have you. Scroll down below. For example, I've got uh, industry spiders here. That's, um, for example, in this work group here, I've, I've created the group, and inside the group, I've got a list of the spider sector symbols. Now, either from the menu up the bottom, up the top here, called um, Volume Wave, or back to my original work group, you can review automate some charts with some sort of preset automated type charts. Now these uh, preset charts are designed to allow the member to review 20, 30, 50, 200, 500 charts at a go, depending on how many you've got in the work group. I think the maximum you can have is 500. Um, some people have got 250, so if you have to have to do some research to find out what's going on, or your favorite stocks, and you've got 100 stocks or 150 stocks, you want the charts to load pretty quickly, quickly so you can eyeball them what's going on. So here I've got, here I've got nine in the spider sectors. Spider sector, sorry. I'm going to review um, them under the tool that um, needs a bit more clarification called the volume wave. So what it does is it loads a page up to 50 charts. Uh, the default is 35. And if there's more than a 50 charts, you'll see one, two, three, four, five pages. So the max you can have is 50, but you can have many pages. What we have down here is a preset chart. We end up having a monthly chart over here with RTT OBB flat and a, a tight copy copy pot curve. Here we got weekly with some volume waves and RTT OBB, and here we have daily. Now, I primarily use this to gauge what's going on in the monthly, and obviously I can just go scrolling down here, symbol after symbol, see what's going on. If I find something that's pretty interesting, and I think we'll keep on going down because I. Yes, I find something's pretty in interesting. I tag it. Well, I, I've tagged industrials. I'm going to tag energy. So instead of looking at now, you know, tier nine charts or fifty charts, I've got two symbols loaded up here. Now I can load the page, and I'll just get the two I want to focus on and have. Oh wait a minute. Check the button, reload the page there with a check button. Yeah, okay. So now we should have two loaded up. And that's correct, we've only got two loaded up. So, like I said before, the, if I want to focus on the monthly part here, I've got two indicators here. What I'm looking for, if we have an uptrend, I'm looking for a temporary downswing. And obviously, a temporary downswing is when you have negative closing months. So that is an opportunity um, to maybe take an option position or consider what's going on in the stock. And to do that, I just really pretty much eyeball the RTTOB flat EMA3 to see whether it's back down by the zero line and hasn't been, hasn't been pushed uh, too far through. Now, to understand that uh, these indicators a little bit um, in more detail, we can select the symbol on the RTT volume chart. Here we go, RTT volume, select the symbol. And across the right, you see S, Y, F, Z, Q, T, E, and O. O is for options, so you can go to the Yahoo option site. E is if it's an ETF, you can go and see what are the holdings within the ex, uh, within this index. I think is G is for a stock guru, Y is for Yahoo. Let's have a look at the pop ups there. Yeah, guru focus. F is for uh, FINs viz charts. So other, if you're a member of other. Um, more sophisticated fundamental type charting packages and you want to be able to research that you can easily click through I use the uh, ETF database quite a lot so I'm looking at industrials I like the look of industrials well I want to find the major holdings of it and I want to see what whether there's any changes or whatever's going on or if I want to go to the options uh, and I want to see what the bid and ask is I go there so now I've, I've, as I said before I've clicked the symbol XLI and that takes me to my swing chart pop out format. So the swing chart pop out format is this and it can be um, customized to your own specifications or what you see. 
I'll just uh, adjust it so it fits in the screen. Here you see mini charts from daily to weekly to volume waves or whatever else, what you decide to see there are left the defaults. I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and you're going to see a monthly chart here. This happens to be a monthly chart of XLI. See XLI monthly chart. If I scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see the two indicators. This is the copy poc. This is the RTW flat. So this is uh, what you're seeing in only three or four months of, pretty much cut down from the right there of that uh, blue line there. Now as you can see, when you look at the wider chart of the monthly chart, perfect buying opportunity when we have a, a slight pullback in a down month. So when a month is down, it's an opportunity. And obviously you stay away from it when you've got lots of months smashing down. For example, we've got a trend up here, and when you see the um, the red monthly bars, they are judged whether they are in the right position or not, because the price and the volume are taken into account in the RTT OBV. So what we're really looking at is we're looking at this here. We've had this slight pullback in a month. The copy pop curve is price only. The RTT OBV is volume and price combination. It's pretty much like being a professional boxing uh, judge. You want to judge how much damage the bar has done to the price trend or not. And normally when you have a little uh, pushback down to the zero line, that's a good sign that um, a bit of selling or profit taking has been done and it's time to reconsider it. So that's exp explanation of where that indicator is. So when you're scrolling down here, you're really looking at, um, when you're scrolling down this side of the monthly chart, which is part of the RTT volume wave, you're really looking at a tight view of that swing chart pop out monthly chart and it gives you a heads up what to look for. So here we've had a bit of a, we've have actually had two months of downswing, back to the zero line. We've had a bit of volume come through, well, very little volume come through. So it's obviously been waiting for the FOMC meeting, and now we're going. Mr. Market's going to find some direction. So if you, so this tells me that yes, we have a strong uptrend with a minor suppression of price, which is probably coiled, ready to go higher. So I'll be looking to take bullish option spreads on that. And what we down here, we have energy, yes, right? We all know what happens to the energy stocks. They've had a bit of a, uh, a, a crush due to the crude oil price. And once again, we've seen price come smashing down. So obviously, this was a bit of a warning. But it smashes below so hard. And there was no recovery, no higher close. Obviously, took out resistance. And obviously, the copy pop curve shows how damaging the uh, that month there was. And obviously that was the thing was around about here on the weekly chart. And this is a daily chart which doesn't show that far back. But you can see the volume um, blow ups and the RTT OBV showing how things are. But as you noticed here, we've had a, uh, on the weekly RTT OBV, we've had a trend line show it shows the selling has dried up. So we had a, let me explain, we had violent selling down to here. Another burst of violent selling down to there. And as you can see, the selling has um, sub t um, you know, tapered off, or I should say the supply is tapered off. And now that the market have found out, well, there's no more supply out there, I can actually push it back up here and do a bit of buying. And it's obviously forcing a bit of short covering. So we had big three big flushes of flushing out of the weak hands. The selling came to the market. And now we can see that the uh, this indicator showing there's less and less damage done from the downswings which means you have to be get prepared to be bullish. It's always a good sign when the, um, the penetration is down and start to subside. See what's going on. For example, here's a, here's a daily chart. So this is a weekly one. Here's a daily chart. That, see that, that there to that there where it exactly didn't subside, but we had a bit of an upswing here, but it, it subsided there. So if I draw a little trend line, you can see there, that's where the... Um, Pretty much says that the supply dried off and the selling stop and is ready to mark up. And and we sort of get another little view here, which is pretty much the same here. This little consolidation here, we get a bit of a uh, profit taking going on. The first swing down, which probably be the A, the B, the C, probably take us a bit higher here. As you can see, the two punches down, the second punch down. I'll just tag that for you. First punch, second punch down, second punch down didn't have the same effect, so a bit more aggressive buying is coming. Well, like I said, what I said before, as I said before, sorry, is that if you're looking at a lot of charts, charts, and you want to find the ones which are attractive for option positions or anything else, 
Um, the volume wave, with its ability to look at many charts, is a great tool to review. Thanks for watching.